Jonathan here. Welcome to another daily coaching video. Today is Saturday, September 5th. Hopefully you're enjoying your Labor Day weekend. I can't believe it's Labor Day already. That is, or Labor Day weekend anyway, that's pretty crazy. That was a quick eight months of 2020. By the way, myself and the other coaches are taking Monday off because of the holidays, so you'll be doing recorded workouts on Monday versus joining myself or the other coaches live. As usual on Saturdays, we nail a no excuses workout. I think there's only two coaches that stream on Saturdays, but there's 9,000 recorded workouts. So pick a coach, pick a time, expect to feel 10 times better, energized, positive, on fire, de-stressed. We all need that right now. And then get after it. Today's focus is on a quote from T. Harv Ecker. I think I said that correctly. The quote is, if you're only willing to do what's easy, life will be hard. But if you're willing to do what's hard, life will be easy. I would modify that quote. I wouldn't say life's easy, life will be easier. I like to kind of change that quote around a little bit in regard to what we're trying to do here in Energy Up. And the way I alter it is, if you're willing to live in a way now, as far as your health, that others aren't willing to live, then you'll be able to live in a way later as far as your health that others aren't able to live. It's really the whole like deferred gratification. Can we put in the effort now, even though it's hard, even though it's challenging, and do that on a consistent basis to then reap the rewards later on? An example of that is next Saturday, I'm gonna run my 25th straight Boston Marathon. Now, when I wake up in the morning, I don't feel anything in my knees or hips or while I'm standing here at all, but I've earned that over a quarter of a century of listening to my body, of foam rolling a ton, of stretching, always warming up, always cooling down, pre-workouts. I've done the things, I've paid the fees over time to earn the right, not saying it's guaranteed, but the goal is to run 50 straight Boston Marathons. So I've operated in a way that most people have not been willing to operate, particularly runners, because we're all type A freaks that want to run six or seven days a week. That's another thing I've altered. I only run outside one day a week. The point is, I've paid those dues now to live in a way, to, you know, in the, at this point in my running career where I can continue to crank the Boston Marathon every year and then I'm not getting out of bed feeling like I'm 90 years old. If we're willing to live in a way now, as far as our wellness, that others are not willing to live, then we will be able to live in a way later on, as far as our wellness, that others are not able to live. I want you to think about this concept after you absolutely pulverize your Saturday no excuses workout. Then tonight, stay on top of the winter mile checklist and I will see you on Sunday morning.